Hi everyone, in this video module, we will see how to insert a combo chart, a stat combo chart, line chart and a smoothen line chart. The line chart and smoothen line chart can be inserted directly from time series as well. So our focus will be more on inserting a combo chart. What is combo chart? Combo chart is nothing but a combination of line chart plus clustered column chart or a line chart plus stacked column chart. Okay, so first let us insert a combo chart. Once we insert a uh, once we insert a combo chart, you can see a line and column. Okay, so what should be the dimension? Instead of order ID, we will have our dimension as we can have it as date. Okay, we can have it as order date okay here we can see the uh, sales is mentioned according to each date i don't want this level of granularity i'll just go and change it to year quarter so that i get the data of each year's quarter okay next what i want to be in my metric i want in my metric uh, to be the total sales okay So I will remove this record count and you can see the metric here is total sales. Okay. Now, whichever metric which comes first is considered to be the input for line chart. Okay. And the second metric which we are including will be considered for column chart. So I'll have my second metric as profit. Now you can see that the profit is plotted down as column chart and the sales is uh, plotted as the line chart okay other options like sort optional metrics metric sliders default date range filtering cross filtering all this are similar to other visualizations okay now in styling options i feel that uh, this difference between the total sales and the total profit is too wide okay and this is not giving me a much appealing visual what can I do? I can, instead of having the axis common for both, I can have a separate axis for this line, uh, for this line chart and a separate axis for the columns. Okay. How can I do it? I can come to series two, which is based on our profit and click the axis option to write. Once I do it, the scale for my profit is on the right side, whereas the scale for my sales is on the left side okay what are the other options my series like series one that is the sales is line by default if i want to change it as bar that i can do let me keep it as line as of now and the uh, different coloring options how much is the line weight what is the color whether it should be a, a cumulative uh, total whether sh whether it's a cumulative total or whether points should be shown or whether data label should be shown all this can be determined similarly for series 2 as well so in series 2 we have changed the axis to right so that we get a better visualization so here you can see the maximum value is 1.5 million whereas the maximum value here is 30,000 okay because this is about the profit this is about the sales okay and what are the other styling options they are more or less similar whether this line should be a smooth line or a curved line whether this line should be a smooth line, you can change it here. Whether the bar should be a stacked bar, even that you can do. Okay. Next, how many number of points should be there that you can de determine? You can add a constant or a dynamic reference line, which we have already discussed. Okay. Here, you, the data is like uh, starting from 2021 and ending at uh, 2018. If you want to reverse the direction, that also you can, sorry, that also you can do. Okay. Other things are uh, more or less similar, like editing your y-axis of right side and left side. What is the maximum value, minimum value, whether it should be in log scale, all this you can do. And uh, editing of the grid and legend also can be done in a similar way. Even the background and border and chart header. Okay, so that's all about the combination charts. It's a combination of line chart plus column chart. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you.